Good morning from Mumbai. Sorry about our appearance, but this is one of the rare occasions where breakfast is included in our hotel. So with that, then we're intending on taking it entirely in bed. When we asked what was included in the breakfast, their response was, whatever we make. So with that, very curious to see what it ends up being. Okay, so we just had some breakfast and some chai. Turns out the mystery breakfast was some kind of... Maybe a paranta? Yeah, with yogurt, which actually turned out to be a really cool combo and delicious. So that yeah, was Yeah, it really enhanced the flavor, actually. Yeah, uh, but now it is time to head out and explore some of Mumbai. We have alluded to the fact that it is technically monsoon season. We just didn't believe it because it didn't really hit us that hard when we were a bit further north. However, it's really, really raining outside. So with that, we poncho it up. Let's go. Mumbai is the most populous city in India and it's also so modern. A lot of its history comes from the British colonial time and it definitely has a lot of buildings that feature that type of architecture, just like the building behind me, which is the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel, which was built in 1903. Due to a lack of clientele, then actually this hotel ended up being nearly completely derelict in the 60s. However, the Intercontinental Group, recognizing the history and the majesty behind it, then decided in 1972 to purchase this and then restore it to its former glory. Coincidentally, right behind the camera is the Gateway of India. It was built to commemorate King George V's visit to India in 1911. Construction of the Gateway of India happened between 1913 and 1924. So the first time that we ended up leaving the hotel, then everything was going great, we were filming, and then all of a sudden a kitchen decided to empty itself onto my head. I felt pretty disgusting, and so as a result we immediately came back to the hotel to freshen me up, let's say. That's right. So after having seen the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel, and going back to the hotel, we left intending to come right back to the Gateway of India. However, at this point, it started absolutely chucking it down to the point where the rain ponchos were proving pretty useless. So we went back to the hotel within two, three minutes of having left it. And so then we waited it out, we had a chai and hoped that it would all blow over and it did just about to the point where we were able to then do a little bit more India gate footage and now thankfully we're here. Inside at lunch. Thank God. The lunch menu here seems to be kind of limited. I ordered us two masala dosas so we'll see what comes. Fingers crossed it's good. Bollywood is based in Mumbai, it only felt right to come and see a Bollywood movie. Also, it's an indoor activity, so since it's chucking it down, it's a great way to keep ourselves occupied. We're going to be seeing a movie today called Rocky and Rani, and I believe it's just coming out today, so hopefully we get a really lively experience. Apparently this is a romantic comedy where there's a couple that needs to spend some time with each of the respective families with hilarious consequences. So let's see what it's all about. Let's see what we understand and what we make of it afterwards. I'm actually so excited for this experience. Me too.
We are back from our first Bollywood movie ever, Rocky and Rani, and I would totally go see another one. It all started with the national anthem, which you stand for, which was interesting. That would never happen in like Canada or England. Definitely not. And I feel like we got two movies in one because there was an intermission. It was like an hour and a half and then you got a break and then another hour and a half. So, I mean, we paid 300 rupees total, which is five Canadian dollars for three hours of entertainment, which I think is like the best value ever. It was such an interesting experience in the sense that like the first half of the movie, any like Hollywood movie mm -hmm. would have ended there. It was like these people met, they were unlikely lovers, they fell in love, they had problems, they got back together. And then the second half, it was kind of like the after effect of this. But I feel like in Hollywood, again, you would have had a couple that was together, then they faced obstacles and broke up, and then they got back together. And that's kind of the second half. That's what I'm saying. We almost got like two movies in one. Yeah. And it was a completely different experience from one half of the film to the other as well. Because mm -hmm. basically like that first half was a gigantic cheese fest. So cheesy. Probably the most cheesy movie we've ever seen. Absolutely. Ever. And it was like basically a massive kind of almost musical theatre-esque romp. And 100%. Yeah. You kind of then went from that to then like a really quite hard, heavy hitting, deep second half, which yes. dealt with all sorts of like social issues, uh, generational trauma, and making sure that people come away with a lesson learned about like trying to be more progressive and all of that kind of stuff. It really kind of took you on a roller coaster. Like the intermission definitely said, this is where the fun stops. This is where the deep and heavy bit begins. And then we go from there. But I think that they were talking about really important issues like oh, yeah. women's role in society and how you can be a career woman and love your family and mm. how women aren't just meant to be in the kitchen and cooking and cleaning and serving the men and, and equality between yeah. the genders and on top of that, just kind of underlying personal things, just because other people have a path set in mind for you, it doesn't mean that that has to be the path you go on. You can feel free and you should feel empowered to chase your hopes and dreams and all of that kind of stuff as well. It was, yeah, there was a lot that was covered. Um, but they yeah. presented it in just such a, what we would imagine a typical Bollywood way. Yes with so much singing and dancing. Mm. It was so colorful, vibrant, mm -hmm. energetic. Yeah. And they had the most topical jokes. Like, mm -hmm. no kidding. <laughs> this was a really funny movie. Yeah, it was. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it got into some very serious themes, but it was interlaced with humor all along the way. Like, it was billed as a romantic, comedy family drama and mm -hmm. honestly you got all of that in one three hour film which yeah. was really really interesting but i think certainly when we've had a look at kind of other people taking in the whole experience of being in a Hollywood cinema there seems to have been a lot more kind of audience participation mm -hmm. like the generally speaking it's been a lot louder people have been up and dancing and sung along all of that kind of stuff and we didn't get that with this but I assume because the film was released, what, today? today? Today. Then it's probably because people might have only just seen this film. They haven't got the words in their head yet. They haven't learned the song, so they can't mm -hmm. come back and all of that kind of stuff. So I would imagine that maybe if we went in like a week's time, mm -hmm. then maybe that would have been the experience. And I think also it was the time of day we went. Mm. So if we'd gone to one of the two evening showings, maybe people would have been at the movies after work. Yeah. Especially because it is a Friday, so it's the weekend. True. They would have been going. Yeah. But then the other thing that surprised me, so I didn't know what to expect in terms of understanding. No. But there were English subtitles, so we could completely follow along. Yeah. And then the other thing is, yes, the movie's in Hindi, but actually, like, you know how there's Fringlish? Well, there was definitely English 
that was written into the script as well. It was just fantastic, and I would 100% go again. Yeah, like even if you're not necessarily in Mumbai, then definitely just going to the cinema or is an experience in India to specifically see a Bollywood movie is something I would recommend. I think, yeah, I think we would definitely say to anybody that you should probably do it. I think that we're just going to chill in our room for a little bit now mm -hmm. yep. before we go to dinner. I think we're going to go to the same place that we went to last night where we got this amazing bendy masala, yes. which is an okra curry basically. And we got butter naan with it. It was so good. And we'll probably try something else there tonight. Yeah. I think so. So we'll take you along with us when we go out. We have just got back in from another lovely dinner. Instead of okra curry, we went for baigan masala, mm -hmm. which is eggplant. And it was lovely and delicious as ever, accompanied by some butter naan. What's not to love about that? Exactly. All for 285 rupees, which is what, like? Four dollars and seventy-five cents, maybe. It seems like this Madras cafe that we found is an absolute gem. Yeah, great food, great prices. Exactly. So if you find yourself in the Kalaba area of Mumbai and you're a bit of a loss as to what to eat, definitely worth going there. But we're gonna turn in for the night now. So with that, until next time, take care and keep smiling. Coincidentally, right behind me. But what you'll just see is that we went to the Taj Mahal Hotel Castle.